Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we're going to do a quick video on how to develop a shape uh, machine or something that you can use for developing custom shapes for various applications, various parametric applications. So this one uses two graph mappers and I'm going to walk you through on how it's built uh, quickly but if you want a detailed video on how to build something like this uh, you can leave a comment below and I can uh, record a longer session. Um, but basically what we do is we start with a series of circles. And these circles, uh, first we actually, let me hide this form, these circles we divide into points. And uh, you're seeing here two sets of graphs. Uh, basically one of these graphs controls uh, kind of the displacement of these points per plane, so how they would be moved uh, outside of um, outside the circle uh, and the other one is kind of a multiplier so this one affects the one below affects how the amplitude changes um, in the vertical direction whereas the first one affects how it uh, changes along the circle uh, radius so um, what we do is basically uh, we can actually move around some of these values and you can start seeing some changes I'm going to actually turn on the sections and the final loft, uh, but basically um, one of the shapes controls how much the shape, um, one of the curves controls how much the shape undulates in the section. So that that's basically something like this. So this controls kind of the overall uh, topology in the horizontal section. And the other one controls uh, the overall topology in the vertical direction. So if I change this to any other shape like this Bezier, you can see I can control the overall vertical amplitude of how I want this profile to be amplified in the vertical direction, right? So I can actually, um, this is a sine summation function, but let's say we create more undulating sections. Uh, down below, the amplitude is lower. Here on top, the amplitude is uh, wider so you can if you bake this form you can see that's um, that's actually how the shape um, is kind of generated with the intersection of these two uh, these two uh, graphs so um, I can actually create some more diverse applications here so let's say we want to have a parabola like this and I can have another type of sinusoidal function and if I bake this as well you can see that this is um, this is kind of a secondary shape. So um, basically, the combinations um, are unlimited, but this gives you kind of control over um, how you want to control the shapes in the section in the profile as well as in the vertical translation. So um, um, I hope you like this type of content. I'm going to be recording a lot of shorter sessions for you to show you kind of creative applications of how you can use Grasshopper. And if you're interested in this type of content, please consider subscribing to the channel. Uh, I'm going to upload more videos over the next weeks. And uh, there's also going to be an upcoming webinar session. So uh, stay tuned if you want to get some more updates on the channel. And thanks for watching.